This is Mission Control. Welcome to Space Station Live for Tuesday, June 25th, 2013. It's uh, been a busy uh, start of the week for the crew up on board uh, the orbiting complex. There was a spacewalk that took place yesterday with Fyodor Yurchikin and Alexander Mazurkin, two of the Russian crew members conducting a six-hour, 34-minute spacewalk. The majority of the activities were to get ready for the upcoming brand new Russian multi-purpose laboratory module that's going to be coming up uh, later on this year. That is actually going to replace the pier's docking compartment, uh, but everything went according to plan as these two crew members uh, ventured outside and uh, took care of all the activities that they needed to uh, to get ready for uh, this brand new laboratory that's coming up here in just a few uh, months. They installed some cable clamps, some handrails, and uh, tested some rendezvous equipment outside the station. Your Chikin and uh, Mazurkin also swapped out a uh, flow control valve that is part of the Zarya module. That was the first piece of the space station that was launched uh, back in 1998. Uh, that uh, valve is part of the coolant system of that particular laboratory. They also retrieved an experiment from outside. This was the 169th spacewalk in support of the International Space Station's assembly and uh, construction. They now have a total of 1,067 hours and 43 minutes total uh, to build this entire international research laboratory. The crew also has reopened the hatches in between the Albert Einstein ATV, that is the European cargo craft that is on the back end of the International Space Station back there on the right side of the screen. This docked back on June 15th and has brought up 7.3 tons of science experiments and supplies for the crew. Uh, the crew is actually way ahead of the timeline in terms of unloading ATV. They are uh, basically taking about half the time uh, that was planned to unload all of that cargo. They will pack it full of trash and ultimately ATV will be uh, undocked and deorbited down into the Earth's atmosphere. Chris Cassidy, Luca Parmitano now getting ready for their spacewalk coming up on July 9th. They will have another one on July 16th. Uh, they're going to be taking care of quite a number of items outside the space station. Uh, each one of those spacewalks will last about six and a half hours. They're going to be replacing a space to ground communications receiver, as well as replacing some wireless video equipment and installing some power and cables for that upcoming laboratory that's going to be part of the uh, Russian segment of the International Space Station. So they will spend the majority of their day today taking a look at the procedures for uh, those two spacewalks. They will have a uh, conference call with the ground, ground teams here in Houston. Uh, to talk about what's ahead as they get ready for uh, those two ventures outside uh, the space station itself. Speaking of outside the station, the Dexter robot is uh, getting ready for some activities and some trial runs later on this week. Uh, this is another Canadian robot outside the station. You can see it has uh, two arms there. Each one of those arms is about 11 feet across. Dexter itself is about uh, 12 feet high. Uh, but they're going to be retrieving some tools out of its tool belt today and then putting it through the paces later on this week. Uh, they're going to be testing uh, some removal of some bolts and also opening up some doors outside the station in case Dexter ever needed to be used to replace uh, some of the parts that are part of the station's uh, power control outside. So they're going to be opening up the bay doors outside there and making sure that Dexter uh, actually operates as expected. The uh, crew also had a chance here just several days ago to take some pictures of the uh, southern Colorado wildfires that are taking place uh, down in that state. Quite a uh, dramatic photo there of these wildfires. As of June 24th, which was yesterday, one of the largest fires there in that area uh, has destroyed 75,150 acres as the uh, firefighters there try to put out uh, these fires that are threatening certain cities down there in Colorado. Uh, they're having a tough time dealing with this because of the winds, uh, but the winds are expected to, uh, to uh, hopefully die down later on this week, and they should hopefully get uh, most of those fires under control later on. The uh, crew has several different crew Earth observations today. They're going to be flying over the Volga Ural Delta, which is part of the Caspian Sea. Hopefully they'll be able to take some pictures of that. They're going to be flying over the island of St. Vincent down in the Caribbean and also flying over parts of Phoenix, Arizona. Of course, if you would like to learn more or see some of these photos, including your hometown, just log on to eol.jsc.nasa.gov. Once again, eol.jsc.nasa.gov. Of course, you can always log on to the NASA website at www.nasa.gov slash station. Take a look at what the crew is up to today and learn about all the science that they're taking care of up on board the International Space Station.